What's up guys, Sunny here and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Recently I've seen a lot of videos swirling around YouTube about how people manipulate their photos, how they retouch them, and how they're making them look a lot better than what they originally were. And I honestly think it's such an important topic because there's so many people using social media these days and it's hard not to get caught up in how everybody looks, how everybody's photos look, and just you know comparing yourself to other influencers, other people you look up to etc. It's been like this for quite some time now. Obviously, social media has been around for years now and uh, it honestly just seems like the technology gets easier and easier to access and more and more people are using these retouching tools and are obviously learning how to edit their photos and take better pictures and all that stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna go through it with you guys and talk a little bit about how people actually do this. So without further ado, let's get to the video. A lot of you guys have been tagging me on this Instagram page called Beauty False. And on this page you can find a lot of comparison photos that's kind of made before and after editing. And they're kind of putting it like it's the real photo and it's the edited slash fake photo. The Instagram page is enlightening both plastic surgery, photo editing, retouching. Now if you look at this photo for instance, you see that there's a person that's posing and it's been edited in Facetune. Facetune is an app where you can literally edit anything. You can make your waist look smaller, you can edit your face in all sorts of different ways. You can change your nose, you can change your mouth, you can change your face shape, you can change your jaw. You can change literally anything and it's open for everybody to use. And now I believe most people already use this app simply to remove blemishes and redness on the skin and simple stuff like that. But some people actually take it to the extreme and edit their entire body making it look absolutely fake. I actually use Facetune myself just to remove blemishes and redness and doing a few color corrections and if the photo is too overexposed I'll change that up. I'm using multiple apps to just fix simple things like that. But if we take this picture right here as an example, you see that the waist is slimmed down a whole lot, the face is changed completely. Now obviously this photo has been taken in a pretty good lighting situation and she's also posing, so keep in mind you can change up a lot just by changing your pose. As you can see on the photo here, the abs are toned a lot and the waist is also slimmed down a lot from a photo taken the same day, question mark. I don't know about that, but it seems like it. The colors are also changed drastically because in the original photo or whatever I'm supposed to call it, it's looking more purple and on the Instagram photo, it looks more blue. So there's been some color change and it's easy to think that she looks beautiful before. Why would she edit herself looking like that? Because when you look at yourself and you don't look like the influencers, you may feel very bad about yourself and you get these unrealistic expectations just like ingrained in your mind. So I'm not really a big fan of that, but it's not about my opinions really. My point with this video is just to talk about how people do it and why they do it and yeah. So let me just take a selfie real quick and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to change absolutely everything in Facetune, for instance. All right, as you can see on my screen right now, I have my face all original and as you can see I'm not looking perfect. I have a few spots, I have some redness and I just look very bad in this photo to be honest. I would never post this photo. It looks ridiculous. But I'm gonna just show you how easy it is to change everything up. Now what I don't like about this photo is that my skin first of all looks pretty bad. Another thing I don't like is that my cheeks look a little bit fluffy and let me show you how easy that is to fix. You literally just swipe. You can make your chin look small or you can make it look bigger. So if I slim down my chin a bit, change the width of my face, look how ridiculous this is you guys. You can do it so much, but if you do just small changes like this, nobody notices. It, it's ridiculous. You can even change your smile. Making it look like you smile a lot, that's very unrealistic by the way. Or just keep it natural. You can also change your eyes, the size, making them look huge. I don't know who does that, but you know, you can change your width. You can make the distance of your eyes look smaller or bigger. You can narrow your nose, making it look slim like all the influencer noses these days. Look at that, now my nose is completely different. Let me show you before and after. 
It's stupid. Like what? And then it comes to the retouching. You can take the smooth tool and just smooth everything out so it looks like you have perfect skin. And it's so easy to do. Only a couple of seconds. Can you see that you guys? I look like a completely different person. Before and after. Before and after. And how long did that take me? A minute? And then we go over to the filters and you can make yourself look so much better with just a simple filter. You have so many options these days. You have a million different filters from a million different apps. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm just choosing this filter to show you the difference. See, I look completely different and that literally took me a minute. And you can do this to your entire body and it's a bit scary because as I mentioned earlier, you get these unrealistic expectations of what you're supposed to look like. And if you ever feel like you don't look like that, you're gonna feel pretty bad. At least that's how I feel. Now, another thing that influencers do is film Instagram stories, post stories on Snapchat or wherever they like on all social media platforms, really. For the sake of this video, I actually downloaded one of these apps that influencers use called Snow. Now in this app, as you guys can see, my face looks completely different than what it does here on the camera. On this app, you can literally remove your pores. You can change up your skin. Looks really fake, by the way, but you know the point here. You can make your face look brighter. You can make your face look slim, natural, like a baby. This is how I look without a slim filter. And this is how I look with a slim filter. And this is a freaking video. So it's really hard to even notice that I have a filter on because when you're swiping through 50 different stories at a time, you're not really noticing the small flaws of the filters. Just look at this. You guys see how it's glitching because it can no longer recognize my face. So that's one of the downsides with these beauty filters. They look super fake, but people use them. When influencers wake up in the morning and film good morning stories, they can use apps like this, making it look like they have perfect skin, making them look beautiful the second they wake up. And it's not realistic. I'm not saying that all influencers do this, but a lot of people actually do. And we're living in a society now where it's easier and easier to access these types of apps. Most of them are actually free. Facetune is free to a certain degree. You can at least manipulate your entire face with Facetune for free. You can also use the app that I just mentioned, Snow. It's also free. And it's quite odd. I'm not here to bash down all the influencers because obviously I do understand that there's a certain expectations to live up to but I hope you guys heard my message in this video. I just wanted to talk about how social media kind of pressures you to have unrealistic expectations on yourself and your body and your skin and hair everything and there's honestly no need to because i truly believe that every single person is beautiful no matter what and everybody has their own struggles to deal with and it's completely normal i'd much rather see people post real photos and not thinking too much about how their nose is looking how their skin is looking how their hair is looking how their body is looking i think social media would be a much better place if that was the case but unfortunately it's not so i think we have to enlighten this make more people realize that most of the pictures they see online is probably manipulated in some sort of way and that you don't have to feel bad just because you don't necessarily look like the influencers because the influencers most likely don't even look like that themselves everybody has has pores. Everybody get breakouts every now and then. Everybody may look a bit bad from certain angles. It's just the way it is. We're all human. Our bodies aren't always necessarily how we would like them to be, but I just feel like it shouldn't matter. So I guess my message with this video is to take care of yourself. Don't get too caught up in social media because it's not real, not at all real. People work as influencers. Some people hire other people to edit their photos. So don't compare yourself. You're beautiful just the way you are. And I hope this video was a bit educational. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to smash the like button and share it with your friends. If you want to check me out on social media, I have everything listed down in the description below. Take care, have a nice day and bye! Yes.